Ever feel like a loser? A sucker? Someone who got played? You should, because if you still support Trump, that's what you are. You got played by this guy. All his promises, come on. They're as real as his hair. He never built the wall. He never did the trade deals. He was never going to. It was all a show. A con game. He said you'd get tired of winning, but you're just tired. Tired of giving him money to pay for his lawyers. Tired of watching him embarrass you. Tired of his lies, his losses, his trouble. Tired of defending a man who doesn't deserve your support. You know he won't change. You know he's the architect of all his problems. But he thinks you're gullible. That you can't figure him out. If you keep supporting him, you're proving him right. I can tell you he is as sharp now as he was when I knew him 30 years ago. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Those cognitive test results are absolutely fantastic. We built almost 500 miles of wall. Even the Obama administration says it in their stats. He's incredibly sharp. He's got a better memory than I have, than you have. But they all thought that uh, Bush might win, Jeb. He got us into the Middle East. How did that work out? There's no decline, zero. President Obama, he should immediately resign. President Trump is fit. He's ready to go. Victor Orban, did ever, anyone ever hear of him? He's the leader of Turkey. Of course. Victor Orban, the leader of Hungary. He makes one little mistake, the media goes insane. Obama wants to, he doesn't even mention them in his statement. Well, you mean President Biden. His cognition is top-notch. Sioux Falls, thank you very much, Sioux Falls. <laughs> So Sioux City. Voters next year will be able to decide, do they want to vote for a vegetable for president or somebody who's got energy and mental acuity? We would be in World War II. Has this ever happened to you? You're sitting in court again, under pressure and stress, and then a warm feeling comes over you, uncomfortably warm. Uh-oh. It's pressure, all right. Down there, that's when you need Trump diapers. Trump Diapers, the elite adults incontinence product for owning lives on the go while you go. Trump Diapers contain a comforting patent pending fiber that's the ultimate in pulling fluids from your delicate orange skin. I always look orange. With Trump Diapers, you can sit all day in luxurious comfort, whether you're busy ending democracy or just rage posting on social media without consequence. Trump Diapers let you spread Russian propaganda all day in dry comfort. When Trump diapers make insurrection easy, you'll never need to poop in the Capitol again. Trump diapers, for when you're losing your shit in more ways than one. You know, there is a genius to what I'm doing. You do know that I go for here and it, and it all comes back into a beautiful picture. <laughs> I was gonna say he's full of bullshit, but I don't want to use bad language. I do like junk food. Who doesn't? I want a lot of golf. I'm a nice golfer. A nice golfer. I'm very good at imitating swings. Dr. Martin Luther King on steroids. Reminds me of this fly that's driving me crazy up here. I'm able to talk about things, although I do have a gag order. This fly is brutal, so I know he's in heaven. My mother, I guarantee it. My father, I think. I don't like flies. What's an indictment? What's an indictment, please? I got indicted four times. And, uh, why? I don't know. I love my family so much, and I love my country so much. I love things that work all different days. I don't discriminate. Do you wanna? We will start negotiation now. No way. I said, way. We do that. Why would we do this? Are we stupid? Why would we do this? <laughs> I don't want to ever say this, you know, being big, I don't know. Who the hell wants to do business in French? This guy, this guy with no IQ. Emmanuel, real patriots. Uh, you look at a can, I know how long, I know how long it's been there. But that was penis. Are you having a good time considering the subject matter is so terrible? I say to myself, you're a freaking genius. What are Republicans like Rick Scott, J.D. Vance, and Mike Johnson doing in the New York City courtroom? Wasting time, wasting taxpayer money. Just the unbelievable, just complete waste. Are they in Washington, D.C., working to make the economy stronger, or America safer, or your life better? No, no, no. No. They talk about inflation and gas prices, but they're too busy cheerleading their leader to do anything about it.
Everybody loves me. They should be in Washington, making the tough votes to strengthen the border. This makes zero sense. Instead, they're kissing Trump's ring in Manhattan. It was not a good look for Congress. They're not loyal to you. They're loyal to him. It can only be my personality, that's all. It's why more Americans are asking than ever before. Is this what we're paying them for? Not in Washington doing their jobs. They're at the courthouse. The American people are over it. America loves President Trump because he's plain spoken. I do like junk food. Easy to understand. Chairman, you're sitting on a wild pony. You gotta pull that pony. You gotta get it going. And he is clear as a bell. In my second term, we will roll back every Biden attack on the Second Amendment. President Trump, when he was in office, he underwent uh, testing for his cognitive dissonance. I don't like flies. President Trump has more energy than a 40-year-old. On his first day of his trial, Reuters reported that Trump appeared to doze off during jury selection. They said the guy's sleeping? He's meditating. On April 22nd, MSNBC reported that Trump's lawyers were fighting to keep him awake. I, I think he's praying. Ah, huh, Mom. Donald Trump could get up on stage, pull his pants down, take a sh up at the podium, and I still would never vote for you Democrats again. Does anybody have any Tic Tacs? Liberals hate humans because, I'm just going to speak very bluntly here, because the liberals are largely enthralled to demons who hate humans and want to destroy them. The real dictatorship, which we're over 1,200 days into, is Joe Biden. They fear Donald Trump, and they fear what's going to happen if he becomes president again. And I'll tell you, they should fear. So all Donald Trump has to do is stay calm, and stay calm during the entire debate, and let Biden rant and rave, because Scranton Joe's looking and sounding meaner and more petty by the day. And then Trump, by comparison, he easily appears presidential. But Americans are not struggling. You know, this is the worst platform. <laughs> They're looking at Republicans in Washington and laughing at us. I mean, it's just not cool to be a Republican and even not cool to be for Trump. They like to say I'm a threat to democracy. What the hell have I done? Let's pray for our country being stronger on the other side of this disgusting sham politician prosecution. Now think 